Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Steve Petrowski and I wanted to speak to you briefly for about four minutes or so about Bob Hazlett. Who is Bob Hazlett? Well, I'm bringing this up to you because I found out that Bob recently came to my area and I want to warn others of this false prophet. This man claims to have prophetic visions from God. He claims that God speaks to him audibly and he claims to see the visible hand of God. I met Bob several years ago when I was a gullible babe in Christ who attended a false teaching church, and I'll be the first to admit that, and when I did see Bob speak, he just gave everybody an emotional high and just told us exactly what we wanted to hear. But the more I began to read my Bible and understand God's Word clearly, the more I began to differentiate between biblical truth and heresy. Now, if you take a look at Bob's website real quick, it says that Bob Hazel is a proven prophetic voice. His teaching and prophetic ministry has been featured on God TV, TBN, Daystar, and Bethel TV. A lot of those Joel Olstein channels. Bob Hazel is a friend to leaders and a sought-after speaker and author. Strong healing and prophetic gifts follow his ministry. Now, right now, again, the reason I bring this up is because Bob is on tour this summer traveling around the United States, the UK, and South Africa, and I want to strongly encourage Christians to show up, if you can, and expose this false prophet for exactly what he is, or just not show up altogether. If we take a look at the Bible, and it says, if you could please turn to 2 Corinthians 11, 13 to 14. What it says right here, it's very clear for what's going on today. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Right here it talks about Paul, the apostle Paul. He describes the evil and the deceptive character of false teachers such as Bob Hazlett and Joel Osteen. He expresses that they are just like Satan himself, who is deceptive. False teachers, or shall I say prophets in Bob's case, because he likes to be called a prophet for his prophecies, um, he may temporarily appear to be genuine to Christians, but he's nothing more than a servant of Satan, and he'll be judged by God. So with this being said, Bob Hazlett is either one of three things. He's either a liar He's either delusional or he's either demonically possessed. So let's move on. In this short video, I'll be comparing Bob Hazlett to psychics because both claim to hear from the supernatural. I want to show you just how silly these people really are and the tactics that they use to draw on people's emotions. And I don't know your husband, I've never met him, but I see uh, kind of like these building tools in his hands. He's kind of a Mr. Fix-It guy. Does he like fix stuff? He's up a contractor. Here? Oh, he's a, he's a builder. <laughs> you started education before, never finished. You're back in education, right? Dude. Yeah. I see you almost like a ballroom dance teacher, right? I do ballroom. I'm ballroom. Yeah. I'm Come on, give me five. <laughs> that's the god. That's the god cab. We're a dancing cab. Now. <laughs> you have experiences like this. You'll think of someone, and then your cell phone will ring, and it's that person. Has that ever happened to you? You're right. That's God. I see a picture of your heart, and I see this letter F on it. That letter F stands for Father. There's a birthmark somewhere on his face, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's the daddy. Oh, yes. She was stealing, you know that, right? Oh, my God. Found that out a couple months ago. Yeah, man. And you will be back in court in the next 21 days, won't you? Exactly. Yeah. You were stealing as if she was cheating on you, weren't you? Yeah, I did. That's what she was. And this is around a relationship. Talk about it. Um, okay? Don't make me take you to church, young man. <laughs> The light of truth will not be denied. Come now. And here's what, I, here's what I heard God saying, that you're growing in your understanding of who you are because you've been looking at yourself through one set of lenses, but you're going to start to see yourself through the blood of Jesus. And this is a reminder that you have come a long way and that your heart is opening up in a new way, a way you have never seen before, and the new ones around you are going to help you. Yeah, Amanda, that was for you. Also, some of the other resources we have back there... Um, if you need healing in your body, uh, we put together this project to bring healing to you. And your card is flow. Look at that. So you're in a new flow of life, one that is much better. There's a lot of healing going on in this flow. Teresa, I just saw the hand of the Lord on, on you, and I feel like the Lord said, 
There's a new favor that's coming on your life, but it's not just a favor for you, but it's a favor for this next generation. And I feel like the Lord's going to anoint you for like that Moses generation that was marked for destruction. Sarah, you're finally ready to take that step in your life. Take that stroll that you've always wanted to take. There's no reason to put it off any longer. Your guides and angels are telling me you're just acting out of fear now. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. My brothers and sisters in Christ, this time is now. So to finally conclude, no. There are no such things as modern day apostles. There are no such things as modern day prophets. No such thing as people claiming to be used by God that have new revelation. No such thing. Because the Bible is closed. Such views are to be soundly and fully rejected because God has fully spoken and finally in Christ. We don't need any extra revelation. If you believe that, perhaps you should become a Mormon. Okay, let me scratch that. Please do not become a Mormon. I was just joking. Let us pray for each and every one of us to stay focused on the living Word of God. And I do pray sincerely for Bob Hazlett. I love him because Christ loved me first. And I love Bob Hazlett even if I disagree with him and believe that he's a false prophet. I love him because I don't want to see his soul go to hell for false teachings. I pray for Bob Hazlett right now if you're listening, Bob, to repent from your false teachings and to look unto Christ. Oh! <laughs>